As a kid, I used to love to do projects. I remember making this little motor, like I took a, a spool and some nails and some wires and I wrapped it around and kicked it off and then it spun and I had this feeling of like, wow, that's, you know, like a motor is magic and I know how to do it now. My name's Tanya Snyder, and I work as part of our engineering group in research and development, and we work on new printing platforms for secure issuance. One of my favorite times is when we have kind of a blank slate for a new product, and you really get to explore ideas. And we do it really collaboratively here, kind of getting into a group and starting to just shoot off ideas and bouncing things off one another. Um, I really enjoy that. Coming up with a product, you're working as a team, and so you're brainstorming as a team, you're coming up with ideas, trying ideas out, seeing what works, what doesn't, and then refining those ideas that seem like they are working and putting them into a final product. The atmosphere here is sort of like a small family and everyone has everyone else's back. We're all here to you know, achieve the same goals. I also really like troubleshooting when you have a problem and you can kind of dig into the details and figure out what is going on and fix it. I find that very satisfying. We really think of the end user in pretty much every stage of the design process. The term we use here at HID is customer centricity, so everything we do in our design process is trying to make the experience better for the customer. So at First Robotics, I'm a mentor, so I work with kids to help teach them just about STEM, about science and technology. So I first learned about HID in high school when I was on the robotics team. I met Tanya as a mentor. And it really became clear that he had a real talent just for troubleshooting and for getting into technology. Got an internship at HID after graduating high school, and then finally after graduating college, I was hired full-time as a mechanical engineer. I found it was a lot of fun to connect with the kids and just to kind of help them grow to know about STEM and that sort of thing. You know, just being female, there aren't a lot of mentors who actually work in a technical aspect with FIRST, and so I feel like that's an important role I can fill, especially with a lot of girls joining in now. We definitely do learn from the kids as well. It's, it goes both ways. We're kind of pushing the edges in robotics, and so I do learn a lot there from what's possible and what's not a good idea potentially see something that kind of sparks an idea and it'll be like, oh, yeah, okay. I'll try that out tomorrow when I get into the office and see if that works. Just trying to kind of create a lot of what we do in industry um, in a really fun way for kids that hopefully inspires them. And from what I've seen, a lot of kids really get into it. They are inspired and, you know, there's a saying about FIRST Robotics that it's one of the few sports where kids actually really have a good chance of going pro. I like HID and the environment here, mostly because of the people. Like, we have a really great team here. It's an environment where people really kind of have each other's back, so the relationships that I've had here at HID have been really great. I really like it a lot. Mm -hmm.